So in this lecture, I will introduce to you about the the bound of the corn and the put price. So the corn and the put price in the market, uh, they is will have the about or in mathematics is like a range of the value of the corn and the put. So for example, uh, if we observe the corn and the put in the market, uh, put price in the market, the values must be within a range. And this range, people will call that is about. So uh, it's look like this. So the, the, the corn and the put price must be within this range. For example, it must be from uh, $3 to $7. It cannot be low. Uh, it cannot be low the 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 the, the three dollar and it also cannot above seven dollar. It must must be within this range. So how do we know that? What is the range of the corn and the put price, and um, how does this matter? So uh, let me give you um, an, a table that can summarize what is about of the corn and the put price. Okay, so we have a. Uh, corn and we have the put and remember that the corn we have the small c and capital c put we have small p and capital p okay remember small one is a european option and the capital one is uh, uh, american options uh, so that's why i, I have uh, two notation for the corn the put with the capital and without the capital so the lower bound what, what does it mean? This is a minimum point here. So uh, for the corn options, that is will be S0 minus KE minus RT. Okay. This means that the minimum of the corns must be S0 minus K times E minus RT. For the put option, that is the opposite. That is KE. E minus RT minus S0. Okay. How about the upper bound or the maximum? For the corn, that is S0, and for capital corn, that also S0. For the put, uh, the American one is a K, and European one is a KE minus RT. Okay. And the last one I also want to introduce to you is a put corn parity. Parity, what does it mean? It means like an equation or one identity that uh, the, the corn and the put price is connected by one formula. So what is that formula? That is C plus K times E minus RT must be equal to the put price plus S0. So we must have this uh, equation hold in the market. If not, we say that, uh, oh, we have the violation of the put con parity. So why we must have this one? Uh, and how does this matter in the market? So in the next one, I will introduce to you about the, the violation of this uh, lower bound or upper bound and uh, how the investor will respond to this violation and how they can earn the money. So this example is um, in our note I put to you in the uh, MS team folder. I give you the note for this one and that is an example 10.1 in the note. Okay, so uh, what is the idea of this one? Um, we have one European Corn option, and this option is uh, on the stock, and that that stock is uh, doesn't pay the dividend. The strike price K is eighteen dollar, and uh, maturity is one year, and the uh, corn price is three dollar. Okay, the stock price now is a uh, twenty dollar. And the risk-free rate is a uh, ten percent, 
per year. Okay. So uh, if you look at this data, the idea of this is a uh, you need to find out using this data you need to find out the lower bound the minimum and the upper bound the maximum of this cause by the theory using the previous table so uh, go back to here here for the cone the lower bound is the upper bound is a s right and our example the s the stock price is a 20 dollar so the premium uh, is uh, three dollars so it's uh, below uh, twenty dollars it's okay right how about the lower bound we have the formula is s s0 minus k minus rt so go back to here the s0 minus k e minus rt equal to what equal to 20 minus k is what 18 times mm, E is a natural number minus 10% is 0 0.1 times T. So that is, uh, let me check how much is this one. So that is uh, 20 minus exponential. Twenty minus exponential. Uh, Eighteen exponential minus zero point one. So this is a three. 0.712 okay so this is a uh, the lower bound and this is a uh, upper bound upper bound is what the k equal to uh, k, uh the, the s0 equal to 20 so it's mean that if we look at the 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 the, the plot the, the the range of the data so the we have the 3.7 here and we have a uh, 20 here so this is a lower bound right this is a lower bound and this is a upper bound so the corn option price must be within this range however in reality the this option is selling in the market at only three dollar so that is a violate the bout right the bows of the corn option by theory right so it's mean that people in the market trade this corn option too cheap too low compared to the theory theoretical value of this uh, corn option so in this case, people will say that, uh, oh, um, you violate the bow already, and there's a, an arbitrage opportunity, opportunity to earn the money, to earn the profit, okay? So because there is this opportunity, so some smart investor in the market for example the hedge fund normally they will trade to earn the money in this case so how they can earn the money in this case so normally arbitrary opportunity including the you buy in something and you sell something so what does they buy and what the things they will sell so normally they will buy the cheaper things in the market and in the market you will see that a uh, Oh, what is the cheap things in the market? Normally, that is the, the things that have lower value compared to the theory. So in our example, that is a, the corn option is cheaper. So they will buy the cheaper, buy the corn option, 
right? And they will sell something. So they sell what? They will sell the stock. Because now in the market, we only have two products, the call option and the stock, right? So they buy option at what? At $3, right? And sell the stock at $20 to get the profit net profit is a $17 because you you sell you earn the income $20 and you buy you lose a $3 so totally you get a $17 and this $17 for you is a free money so you need to put to the bank to get uh, to for one year to get the income right so after one year you can get after one year you will earn 18.79 dollar profit from the bank deposit right because uh, that is a uh, 17 times the e rt what is a uh, ERT that is a uh, discount um, that is a uh, the, the future value of the $17 if you put to the bank deposit so that is a after one year you can earn this uh, money so simply you just put the $17 to the bank today one year later you can get $18.79 okay so that's simple so what happened in the next one year what happened after one year after one year we have two possibility the first possibility is what you will the, the the future stock price will be above eighteen dollar, or the future stock price will be below eighteen dollar. Why we have the cut up at eighteen dollar, because that is the the, the 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 strike price, right? So the stock price is above uh, eighteen dollar. The option we can exercise the option, right? And we will exercise the option because the stock price is above the strike price so you can buy a cheaper strike price and we, we just exercise the option right exercise the account uh, and you need to buy the stock at the $18 right and where's the money you can buy this stock you get the money from here from the bank deposit so after you pay $18 you still have zero one seventy nine dollar profit and this is your net profit right because after that you don't need to do anything because you sell one stock right and after you exercise this coin you get one stock back and you can that is your stock right and in addition to your original stock you also still get zero point $79 profit. So how about if the stock price is below $18? Okay, you also need to get the stock back, right? So what happened? We just simply go to the buy at the spot market At what how much does this cost? So it's just a ST, right? Because if you go to the spot market, you buy at the current stock price ST and that ST is even below $18 so it's even cost you lower compared to the first case here okay so if you buy at SD below $18 where's the money you buy you also again you also take the money from here okay to buy and if you buy and you pay this SD you also still keep some net profit here is above $0.79 profit so in any scenario it's very uh, good for you that uh, you can buy and sell today and trade in the future and uh, by the end of the by the end of the day you get some extra profit and you know you don't need to spend any money but you get the profit so anyone if everyone do this kind of uh, investment the corn in the market people if everyone buy the corn in the market the demand for the corn will increasing right and if the demand increasing the the corn price will be go up and go up right and 
until one day is、uh, fall into this range, and it will be、um, re recover or restore the the the, the lower bow and upper bow、uh, to to to、uh, to be consistent with the theory. So that is why sometimes in the market we see that a、uh, Okay, the call and the put price maybe violate the、um, lower bow and upper bow of the theory, but people will recognize that and they will trade so that the the call and the put price value become more、um, consistent with the theory and become more reasonable. So that's why people call this is an arbitrage opportunity, and arbitrage opportunity is a very important because that is help the market become more efficiently. Okay, so that is the idea of uh, today uh, lecture, and I hope that、uh, you will keep watching this one again, and because、uh, it's very important. Okay, so、uh, in the in the note, I also give you some other example for the put option is too low, or if the Put con parity does not hold. Okay, and I hope that you read that to more understanding about this uh, this uh, idea. Okay.